Okay, in the future tense, finally, of the uh, second conjugation, let's go back to our stem, mon plus e, because it's the uh, characteristic letter of the second conjugation, so we'll need to have that e. Um, the endings, I mean, the characteristic part of the uh, future for the second conjugation is the letter b, sometimes with directly the ending after this, but usually bi, 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 bi or be you for the third conjugation. Uh, so it's easier to remember as bo bis bit bimus bitis bunt, um, preceded by e for second conjugation, okay, uh, to remember the endings of the future. I remind you that for the first conjugation, it was abo abis abita bimus abitis abunt with an a in front of that, because the first conjugation is the a conjugation. Okay, second conjugation is the E conjugation, so that's why we have the E in front of Bobis bit bimus bitis bunt. The future is uh, translated as I will or I shall, and then after that your verb. So I will advise, you will advise, he, she, or it will advise, we will advise, you will advise, and they will advise. Okay, so that wraps up our tenses for the second conjugation. We learn the future. Ebo, uh, ebisebit, ebimus, ebitis, ebunt. Okay. So the endings of the uh, future uh, second conjugation. Then bambas bat, bamus bat is bant with e in front of it. That's the uh, that's the imperfect. And in the present we have aos et emus etis and. So e everywhere because we are in the second conjugation. You recognize the second conjugation by looking at the first principal part of the verb that ends in eo. Okay, so that's about it for verbs of the second conjugation.